Hey guys, welcome to the 38th C programming tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the binary number system and the octal number system and I actually already made a video on the binary number system so I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to that video in the description so just go ahead and watch that uh, binary number system video and then come back and continue on watching this video. Alright, so now that you understand the binary number system let's say that we wanted to represent some binary number in C and to do that you're just going to want to do 0b and then following this prefix just go ahead and put your binary number so let's say we wanted to represent the number 5 in binary we would just do 101 since 101 in binary is 5 in decimal so let's say that we just wanted to store this 101 inside of an integer variable all that we have to do is say int i equals this 0b101 so basically all that this 0b means is that the following number, so the number that comes after this 0b is going to be in binary. So now if we were to print out i onto the screen, we should just get 5 since 101 in binary is 5 in decimal. So we just do printf percent i since we're putting on an integer and then i since the name of our integer variable is i. So we run this and we should just get 5. Perfect. And if we were to do 0b and then 8 ones following that, we should just get 255 out onto the screen. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, we should get 255. Perfect. All right, so now that you understand how to represent binary numbers in C, let's go ahead and move on to the octal number system. So the binary number system's base is 2, meaning that each binary digit has two possible values, either a 0 or a 1. And the octal number system's base is 8, meaning that each octal digit has 8 possible values. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So let's say that we had some octal number. Um, we'll say that we have 6, 3, 7 in octal. And remember that in octal, 7 is the maximum value for any octal digit. Alright, so let's say that we wanted to convert this 6, 3, 7 in octal to decimal. Well, the first thing that we need to do is do 6 times 8 to the second. And let's talk about this 8 to the second for a minute. Why are we doing times 8 to the second? Well, we're doing times 8 because 8 is the base. So let me just go ahead and surround this with red. And I'll just make an arrow pointing to it saying base. So the reason that we do times 8 to the second is because 8 is the base of our number system right here, octal. And the reason that we do 2 is because 2 is the index of our digit in our octal number. So this right here is at the 0 index, this is at the 1 index, and this is at the 2 index. So we do times 8 to the second because this 6 is at the index of 2. So now if we were to continue on, we would do plus 3 times 8 to the first because remember 8 is our base of our number system and 1 is the index of our digit inside of our octal number and then we just need to do plus 7 times 8 to the 0 and 0 is the index of our 7 inside of our octal number alright so now all that we need to do is simplify this so I'm just gonna do 6 times 64 since 8 to the second is 64 so 6 times 64 equals 384 so 384 plus 3 times 8 to the first and 8 to the first is 8 so 3 times 8 is 24 and then we just need to do plus 7 times 8 to the 0 and any number to the 0 power is 1 so 7 times 1 is 7 so now if we were to just add all these numbers together we should get our number in decimal all right, so let's just go ahead and add these up. So 384 plus 24 plus 7 is 415. All right, so 637, or 637 in octal, is 415 in decimal. So I'm just going to put an 8 here to signify that this is base 8, and a 10 here to signify that this is base 10, or decimal, and this is octal. All right, so let's say that we wanted to represent this 637 in C as an octal number. So we just do 0, 6, 3, 7. So this right here is an octal 637. So we could just say int i equals 0, 6, 3, 7, and we're basically just storing the octal number 637 inside of our integer variable i. 
So if I were to print this out onto the screen as a decimal number, we should get 415 out onto the screen since 637 in octal is 415 in decimal. All right, so let's just go ahead and run this and it should work. Yep, perfect, we get 415 out onto the screen. All right, and let's just say that we wanted to print this out as an octal number. Well, we can do percent O. So now we should get 637 out onto the screen since we're storing 637 inside of our integer variable as an octal number. So when we run this, we should just get 637. Perfect. Now if we were to store 415 inside of our integer variable and run this, we should still get 637 out onto the screen because 415 in decimal is 637 in octal and we're printing this integer variable out as an octal number. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.